ChatGPT was the first widely used AI chatbot, but now the competition is getting fierce. Other models are joining the scene, offering longer conversational memory, empathetic responses, and grounding in your data, among many other possibilities. Allow me to save you a dozen Google searches or ChatGPT prompts. I spent time talking to some of the best AI chatbots to see how they measure up. You'll find a bit of everything here, including ChatGPT alternatives that'll help you create content, AI chatbots that can search the web, and a few just for fun options. You'll even see how you can build your own AI chatbot if you don't find what you're looking for here. It's likely that between the time I release this and the time you watch it, there will be even more AI chatbots on the market, but for now, here are the most interesting ones to watch. 7. ChatGPT is the original AI chatbot. After its late 2022 release, it took the world by storm in 2023 and put AI back in the news. It's straightforward to use. Start a conversation by writing your prompt at the bottom of the screen. As the output comes back, a new entry is created on the left side menu, so you can keep all your threads separate and come back to them later. If any of these is particularly interesting, you can share a link to it and show it to others, and they can start where you left off. Even though it sometimes puts out factual errors while displaying total confidence, what experts call hallucinations, ChatGPT is still the industry leader for now. It remembers what you've said within each conversation, using it as context to provide more accurate output as it moves forward. It can accept text commands, helping you format and customize the output. And it's extremely flexible, tackling tasks in any discipline with an acceptable level of accuracy. Just be sure you fact check. You can even share your conversations with others and add custom instructions to customize the bot even further. While GPT 3.5 is already impressive, GPT 4 is even better. It's trained on a much larger data set, making it even more flexible and more accurate with its writing output, and it can even predict what happens next when given a still image. A lot happened in the years since ChatGPT's release. You can now do text-to-image prompting and tweaking with DAL v3 directly in ChatGPT. You can even build your custom bot with unique instructions and data using GPTs. These bots can carry out straightforward tasks, simplify processes, or just do zany things for the fun of it. When you add Zapier's AI actions to it, you can access thousands of other apps from your GPT too. You can also do the opposite, building ChatGPT into your existing workflows with Zapier's direct ChatGPT integration. No matter where you are, you can use ChatGPT to summarize, generate replies, or anything else you can dream up. 6. Claude 2. Longest conversation memory. Anthropic's chatbot aims to be helpful, harmless, and honest. The conversation flows naturally, with responses that are straight to the point, without lengthy introductions and conclusions like ChatGPT sometimes prefers using. What's impressive about it is the length of its context window. This is the fancy name for the conversation memory that chatbots are equipped with. It helps it remember what topic you're talking about, past questions you asked, and how it answered. This feature is what makes answering questions like, can you summarize everything we've talked about into a key takeaway? Possible to answer. Where ChatGPT can only remember up to 12,000 words worth of conversation, Claude takes this to 75,000 words. Since there's a file upload feature, this AI model is great for summarizing and asking questions based on long documents. Just make sure to keep the entire word count, questions and answers combined, below the limit. The free plan is limited to 25 messages per day. You can unlock more by subscribing to the pro plan, going for $20 per month. Once you remove that cap, you can integrate Claude with Zapier to automate your tech stack. And please before I forget if you're new to watching this video and you have not subscribed to this channel please make sure you do so also. If you have any questions concerning this topic drop them in the comments we will be ready to reply to your comment. 5. Microsoft Bing AI Online search, text and image generation Early in 2023, 
Microsoft upped its investment in OpenAI and started developing and rolling out AI features into its products. One of those was Bing, which now has an AI chatting experience that will help you search the web. Once you enter your prompt, it will search the internet for you, process the results, and present you with a reply containing the links it used as a base. It can now show image results in the chat window, but it doesn't pick up too well on the intent of image search. It usually prints out a list of image links instead of an image gallery. And if you want to reread past conversations, you can do so by clicking on each one on the right side of the screen. Moving away from search, Bing AI is now connected to OpenAI's Doll V3, so I can get my daily fix of AI-generated golden retriever images. State that you want to generate an image while chatting and enter the prompt. Once it's out, you can ask to regenerate with new instructions, though, in my experience, it doesn't work well 100% of the time. It's fully integrated into Microsoft Edge, the native Windows browser. There are a few cool tools there. The best one lets you generate text in the sidebar and paste it with one click into any input field on a web page. This is useful for generating emails and pasting them into the Compose window, for example. Bing AI is still behaving strangely, sometimes ending conversations abruptly. Still, it's nothing like when it revealed its gaslighting skills. Don't take it personally if it says it doesn't want to continue the conversation. Hit new thread and keep going. 4. Google Bard Integrates with Google Products Google has been in the AI race for a long time, with a set of AI features already implemented across its product lineup. After an epic hiccup during the initial product demo, Bard left behind the Lambda model and now uses Palm 2 to carry out your instructions. It got a lot of flack, but it's growing on me. Bard can connect to the internet to find sources, even offering a handy button that lets you Google it yourself, which is a huge selling point. The search results can even show images directly on the chat window. It also lets you edit your prompt after you've sent it and offers up to three drafts of each output, so you can pick the best one. It can keep track of your conversation history and you can share your conversations with others. But here's what I love. It integrates deeply with your Google account and other Google products such as hotels, flights, and YouTube. Want to search your Gmail file jungle with one prompt? Do it. Summarize files inside your Google Drive. Yes, please. Check real-time flight and hotel prices as the AI builds your trip. Schedule that time off. It even gives you a packing list. When compared with ChatGPT, Bard feels more conversational and less oriented toward text commands. 3. Zapier Chatbots For building your chatbot, Zapier's free chatbots tool lets you create custom AI-powered chatbots with the power of GPT. Creating a chatbot is easy. You just give it a name, an optional greeting, and a prompt placeholder letting chatters know what to do, and then the directive. In the directive, you'll tell the chatbot who it is, what it knows, and how it should answer. The Zapier team has created everything from a corporate jargon translator, to a press release generator, to a risk assessment bot. Whatever you want the bot to be, it will be. You can turn the creativity up or down, like you might in the OpenAI playground, and even customize the look and feel of your bot. You can even train the bot on specific documents, so it can serve as a knowledge source based on your documentation. Or you can start with a pre-made template like the Business Coach bot, the Explain bot, or the Zapchat bot. Then you can create a nice little landing page for it, and give it a unique URL that you can share with anyone. Dos llamados. Open license AI model. Meta uniquely joined the AI game. Instead of building a commercial chatbot like all the competition, it decided to launch its own AI model with a generous open licensing framework. This means that you can use it and tweak it for free until you hit a revenue limit. But this limit is super high, designed to fence out the big tech competitors from ever using this LLM. This easy licensing process almost makes it look like an open source model, but you can't peek into the details of Llama 2's development, so it can't take that tack. While the actual process of deploying a Llama 2 model is reserved for developers, 
You can try it on the Llama2.ai website to get a feel for how it responds. The output feels more direct, less tuned than other chatbots, a vanilla model ready to be specialized and tweaked to unique needs. This app implementation offers a chat experience along with a few controls such as the system prompt, the temperature, and the context window, the bare minimum to explore the possibilities and limitations. Llama's promising future is tied to its open licensing terms. While using it isn't as exciting as other options here, it's a model to keep an eye on. You may end up interacting with multiple implementations of it in other apps in the future. 1. Grok. Tuned for straight answers, safety off. Elon Musk is already in the space race, so why not also join the AI race? After a lightning development speed of four months from zero to ready, Grok can deliver promising results when compared with the leading models. But beyond the technical stuff, what's magnetic about it are the details. Let me open this by saying that I haven't been able to test it yet. I'm not much of a Twitterer or Zer, so I can't subscribe to an X Premium Plus plan because I've been inactive for a long time. What you're about to read is a roundup of news and opinion pieces I've been consuming online. I highly encourage you to dive in, too. It's super interesting. Grok is supposed to deliver the truth, as straight as it can. Philosophical issues aside, this means that the AI isn't held back by the same safety measures as GPT or Claude. It won't shy away from replying to any question that crosses your mind. This cuts both ways, so it's hard to make a judgment here. It's set to deliver this truth in the style of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This book is an interactive encyclopedia of trivia and how-to guides to anything in Douglas Adams' fictional universe. You ask, it delivers. I wonder if it does so in the same writing style. If so, the humor will be top-notch. More than using its training data for generating answers, Grok may be wired into the X platform's real-time data one day. This is the equivalent of having a chatbot grounded in the live activity of a social media network. This is huge. Imagine being able to ask questions about trends, conversations, or even user sentiment. I'm curious to ask how Grok rates the average mood of X users on a given day. Finally, the name. To Grok means to understand something intuitively, or by empathy. An interesting moniker for an AI system that may have neither. I promise I'll keep my mind open to the possibility. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the like button below to be notified anytime we post content like this thank you as you do. And don't forget to drop your question concerning the topic.